Hello my dear friends, welcome back to the channel and if you are new then welcome to the channel. This channel is dedicated to one night batting students and even if you are not a one night batting student then you can watch this video, gain the knowledge and score great marks in exams. So let's begin the video. So today we are going to discuss about linear constant coefficient differential equation. So what is this linear constant coefficient differential equation? So this equation look, looks like y of n is equals to minus from 1 to n. This is a constant n minus k. Then we have another from 0 to n. This is a constant. Then we have from n minus k. So here this is the past output and this is the present and past input which gives the present output. So it means the present output is in terms of past output and present and past input. So that's how this equation looks. It basically means that this is the total system response of the system and this is the zero input response and this is the zero state response like we calculated in control system the total system response is equals to zero input response plus zero state response in the same manner we have this equation here this is the natural response or zero state zero input response and this is the forced response which is the zero state response so in general solution we can write it as y of n is equals to y n of n plus y f of n n of n is natural response and f of n is forced response so let's discuss about both of this one by one Now let's discuss what is natural response as I already told you that it is a zero input response. So this is the output of the system by considering all the input terms as zero. Zero input means input are considered equal to zero and the natural response can be obtained by considering the initial conditions. Don't worry about initial conditions because in examination they will give initial conditions in the question paper only and according to that we have to do the calculations. So let me write the definition of this natural response. So from this equation we can see that first term is the natural response. So we will write y of n is equals to minus summation from k equal to 1 to n a k and y of n minus k. So as the input terms are 0 so we have put it this equation equal to 0 and now by considering the initial conditions so I have considered initial condition a naught is equals to 1 and by taking this we will uh, solve this equation further. Now the general form of the solution of the equation is this. This is the homogeneous equation. Now this y h of n will be substituted into this y and what will we get then? I will substitute this in this equation first. Then we will see y of n is equals to minus summation k is equals to 0. Minus doesn't matter now. So let's do not take it. Then a of k and then we will keep lambda n minus 1 this is equal to 0 and since the in initial conditions are considered a naught is equals to 1 and uh, here also a naught is equals to 1 so now let's expand it so we can write it as a naught is already 1 so 1 into lambda to the power n plus a 1 lambda to the power n minus 2 this is small n then again a 2 lambda and minus 2 and plus so on up to a capital N and then lambda n minus capital N and this is considered as 0. 
now as we got this equation up till here let's solve this further so this was the equation that we got in the previous page now from this we will take this lambda n minus capital n as common so here we will get lambda capital n because n minus n plus n so this n and this n will get cancelled we will get small n so that's how we took common and then we will get a1 lambda capital n minus 1 plus a2 lambda capital n minus 2 plus so on and in the last we will be remaining with a n and this is equals to 0 now this cannot be equal to 0 so we will consider this equation as 0 lambda n plus a n lambda n minus 1 plus a2 lambda n minus 2 plus so on up to a n equal to 0 this is the characteristic equation of nth order now here this is the characteristic equation of nth order so here lambda minus lambda 1 lambda lambda minus 2 and uh, lambda minus lambda 3 so on lambda lambda n this is the factorized form from this we will get lambda values is equals to lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 and so on lambda n so these are the eigenvalues eigenvalues are the root of the equation so according to that if eigenvalues are real or real and distinct real and repeated or complex according to that we will solve this equation further so the roots may be real real and distinct distinct means different and real and repeated and we can have complex I will make a video on each of these concepts how to solve the equation if the roots are real real and distinct or real and repeated or what if the roots are complex so we will discuss this in another videos so now let's discuss what is the forced response of the system or you can say zero state response that means we will consider the input but we will not consider the states states of the system will be considered as zero so the forced response is the response of the system by considering all the input terms and applying zero initial conditions so the forced response So here the forced response is represented as y h of n h of n means homogeneous equation and y p of n p of n means particular solution. So I will discuss a table how to find the particular solution. So to find the particular solution there is a table first we will on the left hand side we will take the input that is x of n and on the right hand side we will take the particular solution that is y p of n. So if the input is a that is step then we will write the particular solution as k and if this input is a and m power n then the solution will be k m power n if the input is k a n to the power of capital m then the output will be k naught n to the power of m plus k1 n to the power of m minus 1 plus so on up till k m it's like a summation of those things now if the input is a to the power of n and n to the power of m then the output will be like we are just multiplying this thing and we will write the same thing over here so on k to the power k m now if the equation is a cos omega n or a sin omega n then what is the particular solution then we will write k1 cos omega n plus k2 sin omega n even if the input is this or this we will write this only so this is a table to find the particular solution of various inputs and we will apply this while solving the problems so here we are having uh, that it is a consists of homogeneous solution and it also consists of particular solution you know in exams they also ask impulse response and step response so how to calculate these things see impulse response means the input is considered as impulse that is delta of n and step response means the input is considered as u of n and uh, that's how we solve impulse and res uh, step response i will solve a question on these concepts also so i will post some videos 
after this video to so i will add those videos in this playlist only don't forget to check those videos also so that's it for this video friends if you like it the video and understood everything then don't forget to click that like button and please click that like button if you really understood everything please don't go ideally and uh, also subscribe to my channel and uh, that's how you will support me and i'll get motivation to make more such videos yeah thanks for watching